minute, imagine something that is quite morbid with me. I want you to think about your funeral. What will it be like? Who will be there? Who will be paying for it? At your time of death, if you're leaving behind loved ones, they can be left paying for funeral costs, uh, mortgages, remaining debts. This is why buying life insurance is so important to prepare for the future. This summer, I'm working in State Farm's Life and Health Insurance Department, so I wanted to research just why our product is so important to each and every one of us. Because we're all going to die eventually, so we should all consider buying life insurance. So then first we're going to look at the need for insurance. Why is it important? Then we're going to look at how we obtain life insurance and different options that are out there. And finally, we're going to examine just how life-changing insurance can really be. So let's look at why it matters. Life insurance can protect your family in the event of an untimely death by covering many expenses that you might leave behind. The first one that a lot of people think of is funeral costs, which is a valid concern. According to Mike Testa in 2014, the average funeral cost was between $7,000 and $10,000. That's a lot of money right off the bat. But it doesn't just stop there. There's so many other expenses that quickly becomes overwhelming. Which is sad because according to um, Limra in 2013, the insurance coverage gap is increasing. Wait, insurance coverage gap. Like, what is that? Why does it matter? Well, let's look at this more closely. In 1960, 77% of American households had life insurance. <clears throat> By 1992, this dropped to 55%. By 2010, we reached a 50-year low where only 44% of households had coverage. 44%. This means less than half of America has life insurance. In fact, this need is so great, the estimated unmet life insurance need exceeds $15 trillion. That's a lot of money. That's probably more money than all of us put together will ever see in our lifetimes. But it doesn't just stop there. Because of American households with children under the age of 18, 70% of them said they could not meet everyday needs if just one of their primary wage earners died today. That's a lot of families with children and spouses left not being able to meet tomorrow's needs. So you're probably thinking, okay, like, I get it. You got kids, you got spouses, like, you gotta worry about them. Get life insurance, take care of them, you know, family things. Like, we don't have families, we're in college, right? Why does it matter? Well, even if you don't have kids and you're single, you could still leave behind debts, like student loans, for example, that your family would be left paying for. So your parents and grandparents could be paying your loans. So now we've seen the great need for life insurance in America today. Let's look at just how flexible and easy it is to get life insurance. There are affordable, feasible options to get coverage. You'll find two main types out there, term insurance and whole life insurance. Term insurance gives you a benefit payable upon debt for a certain amount of time, and then after that time is up, you don't get it anymore. This has a lot of appeal to people because the payments are a lot lower. Whole life, on the other hand, even though it's more expensive, gives you that benefit at any point in the future. So once you decide what type you want, then the next question is, well, how much do I need? A nonprofit called Life Happens in 2015 said the general rule of thumb is to buy eight to 10 times your annual salary. So let's say you get out of college, you're making 50,000 a year. Then that means you wanna get coverage that has a benefit between 400,000 and 500,000 dollars. But 400,000, 500, that sounds like a lot of money, right? I bet you're probably thinking, eh, it's a little expensive. I can't afford that, I'll worry about it later. Well, if you're thinking that right now, you're not alone. According to Corey Dahl in 2013, 83% of consumers think that life insurance is too expensive. They say, that's not for me, not my budget, I'm not going to worry about it. Well, they actually think it costs three times as much as it does. <coughs> that means that 83% of consumers aren't buying life insurance because they think it costs too much, but it only costs a third of that, so you can't afford it. Having life insurance can make such a huge difference. There are so many testimonials out there. You can find them everywhere. But today I want to focus on one in particular. Because I want to make sure that your family has a story like Jackie Blanche Hart's did. So this comes from Life Happens. It's published in 2014. So when Jackie's husband passed away, he barely had enough life insurance to cover the funeral. 
And after going through that, Jackie said, I don't want my kids to go through this. I don't want my parents to go through this. So she went out and she bought herself the best life insurance she could find. Unfortunately, two years later, Jackie was diagnosed with lung cancer. In fact, it got so bad that she had to quit work. But because she had planned ahead and bought an insurance plan, they were able to help her cover those costs that she wasn't meeting with the salary anymore. She was still able to travel the country with her kids, making memories that they will cherish for a lifetime. Eventually, Jackie was diagnosed as terminally ill, at which point her insurance gave her access to 75% of the benefits. And she was able to use this money to finance a house and cars for both her parents and her kids. And she was also able to prepay for her funeral. So when she unfortunately passed away at the young age of 38, her family was able to focus on grieving rather than paying the bills. And now her kids are finishing up college. They're living comfortably because their mom had thought ahead and planned for them. It's sad to think that only 44% of households in America will have a story like that. It's sad because buying life insurance is an affordable, feasible action to easily protect your loved ones down the road. When I went to interview for my internship, one of the interviewers, she asked me, she said, how would you describe life insurance in two words? Two words. Of course, I fumbled around. I was like, oh, like a business opportunity or something like that. So after the interview was over, I asked her, I said, how would you have answered that? That was like a completely unfair question. Like, there's no way. And she said, well, it's really simple. It's a love product. A love product. So today I urge you to consider buying life insurance, at least once you're employed. Do it for your parents and your future children like Jackie Blanchard did. Do it for your future spouse. Do it because of love. Thank you.